Hey guys, Mamie Carson here with OneJoyousKip.com. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. I'm creating a project for a baby shower coming up soon, and I'm gonna be making a chipboard letter art with the name of the baby. And I'm starting off with these chipboard letters here, and I'm gonna start by going over them all with some white acrylic paint to kind of prime the letters and this way when you put on the actual color on top, it'll really help that color be true to its actual color instead of going right over that brown, we'll kind of give it a darker tone. So after you go over the letters in the white acrylic paints, then you can pick the color of your choice and go over the top and this color really glides on very easily because you do have that primer already down on there and the colors really pop against that white background. And so the colors didn't end up being uh, the right color of turquoise, so I did go over it again. So um, I didn't put that in here, but I did go over it to make it a little more of a turquoise color. Now I'm creating the horns for the unicorn, and it's very simple, just taking some glitter paper here in a triangle shape and folding towards the middle in a rounded motion here. Just takes a little bit of finesse, and I'm just rounding that towards that center of that triangle and coming in with a stapler, giving it a couple of staples there to make sure I've got it held together nice and tight. And I'm going to just snip off the excess. It's really easy to do the horns. And then I'm gonna snip off the excess from behind here as well. And we have our cute little horn ready to go. And I'm gonna be using these horns for various projects. Um, not just on the letters. So I'll be sharing those on Instagram. So make sure to follow me down below. I have all the links for my social media. And so for here, I'm going to be doing the ears and I just did those freehand. I'm showing you here. I just drew on the um, glitter paper on the back and cut those out. So that's very simple to do kind of like a teardrop look to the ears. Um, you can draw one ear and then you can trace that one ear and that way they're going to be both the same size. And I did that for the pink paper as well. And now I'm taking a glitter, I'm glitter, a white gel pen to add some little highlights to the ears. And you can use the white acrylic paint as well. I just happen to have that gel pen out and ready, so I used that. And so now I'm gonna be doing the adhering of the elements. And I do recommend using some hot glue if you have it. Um, I didn't feel like plugging it in and doing all that. I kind of wish that I would have now because this um, glue that I use takes a little bit more drying time and I was like in a hurry to get this project completed. So I did use the 9001 Super Bonder glue here, but you can use hot glue, probably be a little bit better, a little bit faster. So just adding a little bit of glue to the elements and then for these little ears, because this isn't hot glue, this kind of glue takes a little bit more drying time. Um, it was kind of slipping a little bit, so I add a little bit of tape to the back of the ears just to hold them in place, and that fixed the issue. And I'm going to do the same to the other side with the other ear. And this is what it looks like so far. Cute little unicorn A. And so now I've got various flowers, okay? So I didn't go to the store to pick these up. I, re I already have artificial flowers laying around my house um, because I like to use flowers in a lot of different kinds of projects. So I just snip those off. One set of the flowers are silk flowers and then the other set to the left are paper flowers. And I get most of my paper flowers from Wild Orchard Crafts. And I think that's what it's called. And I can link them down below. They have the prettiest paper flowers and they're really um, a great price as well. So I'm just gluing everything down into place. I'm starting with a base of the green flowers um, to give you, you know, the abundance of the greenery in the background and then adding the paper flowers afterwards to different areas just to fill in the space a little bit better. And so I snipped off all of the little stems and just glued those guys right into place. It was a little bit easier to do it this way so I could just adhere it straight to uh, the area behind it like the chip letter or onto another flower. And so I didn't have, uh, so the color palette that we have going on for the baby shower is gold, turquoise, pink, white, and like a peach color. Um, but for these flowers here, I just happen to have all those colors really. But for the flowers here, it's not really that big of a deal if you if I break the color palette because it just adds a little bit more um, interest, if you will. So I'm almost finished here with this little cluster and I think it's looking really, really cute. 
So on a side note, um, like I said, I'm going to be sharing um, other projects that I'm going to be making for this shower on other social media that I have. So make sure to look down below in the description area and you can find out the links to my Instagram so that you can see all of the little projects that I'm making for the baby shower. Now uh, to the next portion of the project is going to be adding the glitter. And so I'm using a little bit of a thicker glitter and I'm using some Mod Podge here. Any kind of Mod Podge you have will probably work just fine. Um, this is the satin, I think. But And you want to use an old um, paintbrush because you don't want to get your good paintbrushes all crumply because once you use this glue, your paintbrush is going to be pretty groupy after you're done using it. So just make sure it's kind of an older paintbrush. You don't want to ruin any of your nice ones. And so I'm just taking this Mod Podge and I'm putting like clumps of it a little bit thicker. I'm not like making sure that it's nice and flat and even and spread out. You want it to be a little bit clumpy so that it can hold on to that glitter really well. So I'm just kind of dabbing it onto all the areas so that I make sure that I have all of the areas covered with that glue so that that thicker glitter can hold on nicely. And so I'm just going all over it with that glitter and then I'm going to tap off some of the excess or some of the ones that aren't holding on very tight and then I'm going to lay over another layer of that glitter. And that just really helps make sure that I have glitter on all over the uh, little letter here. So I'm just tapping that off and then when I go back over it'll kind of help fill in some of the bare spots. And I love it. It's so sparkly. So I did that to all of the letters in one way or another to create like a visual balance. I did like the, her name is Luna. So I did the L covered in glitter. And then I did just a portion of the U. And then I covered the entire N and then just did a portion of the A. So that just gives a visual balance. And to give it more visual balance, I'm going to be doing um, something else after I am finished with the little unicorn A here. I need to add on the little eyes. So I'm not a very good drawer by any means, but this is very simple to do. All you have to do, you can take a pen or a marker even. I just had my paints out, so I just went ahead and used my acrylic paint and a very, very thin paintbrush. And you're just going to draw little closed eyes. It's like super, super simple. Just like, kind of like drawing a, the bottom part of a U on both sides. And then to really doll it up, I put some eyelashes as well. And so it's super, super easy to do this. If you're not very good at, at um, drawing or painting or whatever, this is still very simple for you to do. And then now, like I said, to create more visual balance, um, for the U here, I'm going to create a cluster. And the cluster is going to go kind of in the bottom left area. And since that A had some flowers, uh, when I say cluster, I mean a cluster of flowers. Since that A has a cluster of flowers, I wanted to make sure that uh, it was balanced out and I added some flowers over here to the U as well. I'm using the same flowers that I used on the other letter and I'm using the same glue and just gluing all of that into place. And like I said, it creates that visual balance, really helps um, make everything kind of go together and just look a little bit more finished this way. And so that's pretty much all of the things that I'm going to do for this project today. And so wait till the end so you can see the still shot of the project. And like I said, I'm going to have more projects for this baby shower coming up. It's something different than what I usually do um, from usually posting a lot of cards and stuff, but I do a lot of other kinds of crafts. And so I'm trying to kind of branch out and show all of the projects that I work on. And this is a good one because I did, I was able to use the same camera setup, you know, just looking right down on my work surface. Some of the projects that I do are kind of hard. I would have to set up a tripod and everything. But anyway, so this is the project and I appreciate you guys stopping by and make sure to like and subscribe and share this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.